Carlton North. After slowing down the Operation Crusader offensive, Rommel regrouped and struck back at the British uh, the following spring. After driving the British back to Tabarak, Rommel halted to prepare for another assault on the town. The British in the meantime established an extensive defense line, a series of boxes surrounded by mines and obstacles. In May, Rommel began a series of assaults and in one such battle, the 21st Panzer Division thrust themselves right into the middle of the British defenses. The scenario looks at an attempt by the 2nd South African Division and the 32nd Tank Tank Brigade to smash through their own defenses to get to the Germans. Uh, the British suck ass. Yeah, let's play the British. Okay, it's uh, it's twelve turns in length. It's using up less than a quarter of the map area. Punch through our own defenses to get to the to the Germans. Ooh, surprisingly large amount of infantry. We're already disabling the defenses. We have a decent amount of uh, artillery. Um, should we try to smoke them? Uh, it, it tends to be into your advantage when you have a lot of infantry. Ooh, we have grants. It should be basically a Lee. Yeah, it's the same basic design. Might be a an upgraded version. I don't know. Still, well, it's a it's a solid tank. Crusader twos. It's the Hobbitser version. I no, don't like those. Valentine three. It's another. Ooh, this is a new one. Uh, two pounder machine gun. I have, these are. This is basically Crusader one with a better armor. Matilda twos. A few of them. Um, 55 anti-tank ammunition. It's the CS version that's terrible. This is a good thing, a good tank against other tanks. Yeah, this Matilda CS. It has 11, 11 shots. Brand actually has a very heavy armor. Crusaders, not so much. Okay, uh, I, I I like our tanks. No troops inside. Fine, fine. I, I'm not going to send my command unit inside. We either go through here or through here with the tanks. Valentines look very large. They're not. This grant grant seems to be fairly fast. Uh, I don't. I'm not quite sure what Germans have at this point. Because I I don't think the British are uh, have. Anyway, an inferior bullshit. Idiots. Do not have inferior tanks. At least not now. Yeah, that's something of a problem, isn't it? Yeah. A few anti tank guns still. What did we see? 
No one's seeing anything, right? Of course, of course. This is how it always goes. <sighs> okay. Do I have to individually click every goddamn it? Well, we might as well do it this way if we have to. Yeah. 76 millimeter anti-tank gun, and it's fairly long barreled. This is good enough to destroy a tank, so it's the 88. 50 millimeter, probably not. So, oh. you see something new? Yeah, I think we should try to fire smoke. No, we're not gonna fire smoke. Smoke is so for pussies. Although mortars are fairly ineffectual, so maybe they could fire some smoke. I don't know if it's even gonna help us or not. We're definitely bombarding them properly too. We want to draw as many, as much as the anti tank fire as we can. Holy crap, that was a lot though. They won't be able to fire this much uh, any time after this turn. The number of rounds they can fire will at least drop to half. I don't want to move closer because at this range it doesn't look like their infantry is responding, which is good, very good for us. I think we do want to start firing with the tanks to them if we're going to do this. Eighty eight at least has to be suppressed. Not sure if uh, if it's uh, if it's really working. Still, if we can keep it, keep them under control, like a couple of turns, yeah, the tanks will arrive in uh, within a uh, reasonable firing range, and that'll be the end of it. Every weapon squad, they have two-inch mortars. And a casualty. We want ooh, and a casualty. Excellent. We want to retain some shots. I'm pretty sure about that. Their infantry might start firing.
Oh no, fire on the 88, please. No one's shot at it yet. Excellent, and you killed something. Don't really get better than this. Static. And more people are reacting. That is really fine though. Mirrors. Ah, uh, we have quite a bit of quite a bit of a force here apparently, so just oh, crap. Just going through these is gonna take some time. And shoot at the infantry. Yeah, still getting this return fire. We can't exactly push forward because of the minefield, and we need to get rid of the. Uh, what are tank obstacles? Okay, that 88 is officially in deep trouble. Yeah, five casualties on that group. It's it's out. A gun destroyed. It is out officially. No, this is no good. Don't shoot at the same hex as another enemy. Not sure this will last long. It'll last long because we have so many units that we have to move and sort of uh, at least plan somewhat what we're going to do with them. So we can suppress the correct enemy units. But at the same time, they don't have that many forces on their side. Big thing really is the cannons. We've uh, pinned a few of them already down. So. And the heavy weapon squad is likely to be able to injure this gun too. Yep. So their anti-tank capabilities have basically plummeted. Without taking down any tanks. Oh crap. Oh we got slaughtered. Slaughtered badly. Oh, 
what do we have? Not quite sure what we have. Yeah, more infantry fighting in us than what we have. Very good. This group is a bullet magnet. As long there, it, it allow their other groups to move closer before firing. Good leader too. Crap. Still have a sh had a shot left in them. Do need to do something about that then, thank gun. But as long as these guys can slaughter our men anyway, we do have to suppress them first. ADAs were a different matter, they can slaughter tanks, properly get rid of them at long range. In lesser ones with the more newer versions of British tanks, I think we can even take hits with most of our tanks. Are we done here? Pretty much. And it was fairly good. I didn't catch all the guns. Didn't particularly matter. I'm gonna shoot as much as I can. They might have tanks, I don't know. But the anti tanks and the anti tank guns are going to be troubled not. Long, but I think fairly productive first turn. Yeah, a lot of them are escaping from their positions. Escaping to where though? These don't have high explosive rounds, no. So they can only shoot at tanks. But you don't have any tanks, so I'm guessing they do have some kind of tank group coming our way. Three men killed by mines, so where's our nearest engineer squad? There is no nearest engineer squad.
son of a bitch. So you're shooting with your rifle. Does that make sense, I suppose? are not engineers, so don't try to go through places where engineers have been cleared up first. Okay, I am assuming that there's gonna be a tank fight too, otherwise it it really makes no sense to have this many tanks with us. Where are we shooting things? Hmm, not sure we're doing any papers for our side. Okay, at least we got things rolling a bit more rapidly now. We need to clear a path through the dragon's teeth. That's the main objective, otherwise no tank can pass. Why aren't you firing? You have no high explosive rounds. A little bit of suppression fire, nothing more. They have, we have high explosive for our main gun only. We need to point the hole at the target before it, a lot, before it fires. What? Just fire at it a second time. Why not? Uh, 
I need to specially shoot at it with the. No, it refuses to fire. I don't know why. Ooh, that's good. I guess it created enough smoke or something that they sort of lost it. But at that point, you shouldn't be able to target it at all, so I don't know. No, no, no. The yeah, artillery should be landing on a lot of those areas uh, after this turn. Mainly moving into position so I can start attacking some of the flags, but not quite so simple. Even shoot there. No. So there really isn't all that much we can do. Let the artillery land. I hope that they will do some good. Clearing mines, clearing obstacles. Mm -hmm. So, how about no? Son of a bitch. Ooh, now we are seeing, let's see vehicles firing at us. But where? Uh, don't know. Four axes. So there's a group of cars waiting for us here. Fair enough.
Ooh, we got slaughtered. Got it. Got a lot of that. Why is no one seeing anything? Doesn't really matter. Let's pump as much lead there as you can. Since we now know there's likely quite a few vehicles in position behind this ridge. Um, I think we'll gather our forces somewhere around. Line up basically behind this hill with the tanks and then start moving troops forward. Whatever, whatever we do, we want to go over that ridge with a huge chunk of our forces capable of moving forward. There's gonna be vehicles, there's gonna be tanks, there's gonna be a lot, a lot of different things. What I want is infantry to go in first, take the round of the casualties, then vehicles in once we know what the hell we're dealing with. No kills again, but we should be able to suppress it enough to we'll abandon the position. We can break through the center. We should be able to cause casualties to heavy women squad. Yeah, it's a fairly high, fairly high possibility of causing casualties with nothing in ails with the small mortars. So it's going to abandon its position. Excellent. And we got slaughtered. We help.
We might have a little bit of a change in, uh, in this situation fairly soon, because we do have a couple of flags under our toe, so there's a decent chance it'll spark some kind of reaction out of the German side. So if they have troops, which they will have, they'll might counterattack at this point. Yep, massive, massive counterattack by nothing. Okay, we'll do it this way then. I'm actually going to pull back with this very likely. Okay, this is very odd place here. I'm going to direct a little bit of extra fire there. Yeah, so after the next fire lands we're going to rush them, rush over the hill. But until that we're just going to position ourselves We're not going to take too many flags either. Just position ourselves so we we can take them at a moment's notice. we want to do is probably widen the gap where the tanks can move. Not that it matters too much. Ah. Yeah, we cannot stay here. Since we can't move, we might as well try to make, do something good here. Mm. Can't break through there. Still, we have a couple of turns left, so we should be getting very close to where we want to be. Even if we can't get there with everyone. Is he going to do a counter attack or not? I would say new. No.
might do once we start to get more of these, but I'm hoping at that point it's too late. We definitely need to call Sky Relief on those. Okay, that's good enough. I want more, but that's good enough. If we can get a few more casualties on them, I'm just gonna rush it with another group and hope to annihilate it immediately. This is starting to look just fine. Suppression value at this point should be large enough that it won't react. Or if it does, it, it'll fire like once and that's it. Excellent. Uh, I don't think we're all going to wait for the materials. Mm, I don't think we can afford to. We have a handful of tanks here. So let's say turn 9? Uh, no, not turn 9, but turn 8. Something like that, and we'll move forward. Yeah, after the next turn.
Already are we? Okay. Now the bombardment should be very inaccurate. This would be a big trouble for us to Okay, mostly it rained exactly where it needed to. Left time to move forward. Okay, we have our HQ unit here. Possibly not a good idea to try to go there with you. Drop infantry, take a look around, Not seeing anything. So Infantry in first. Infantry has been escaping at some point, but it's ready for action now. I was expecting, definitely expecting that there are positions there, uh, but I do have to say I expecting something a lot heavier than this. Control almost everything. Very likely there's going to be a reaction. I don't particularly care what it is. We're in a very good position. We have tank support, so whatever they've got, I'm not too worried. Probably won't even shoot with the tanks.
You are routed, don't have to worry about you. You are not. Crap. Still, infantry losses are much, much, much easier to take than tank. I don't think they should have a decent gun, but it, it's fairly minor. Minor weapon, I, I doubt it'll be enough to take down any of our tanks. I want to make sure this bastard is not even doing return fire, really. Flamethrower, Satchel Charge. That's the good stuff. We're suppressed enough that we can't do anything. Not enough to even penetrate the armor of an armored car. I'm feeling probably a lot unlucky shot, sure, but that's still not a good gun. Terrible, terrible shots. Ooh. Hello, Salt Hanks. Didn't see you earlier. Where exactly are they going? Why are they going at the edge? Hmm. Going to be a bit of a problem, but whatever. Yeah, please stop shooting at my old troops. Okay, see what happens. So they had at least some tanks come in as reinforcements. As we expected, so nothing surprising there. The surprising thing is, I just didn't spot them. So, who the hell saw them first? That doesn't really matter, It's this is going to end in a couple of turns anyway. Ooh, they have new ammunition. Uh, they have high velocity armor piercing.
definitely not to destroy our tanks. Not sure how much of a difference it's gonna make. We have pretty good control over most of these sites. Even if they do have tanks, we're, we've caused quite a few casualties. I think I'll try to pause as many, many as I can. Because if I think, if, if I cause enough casualties, the game will end at when I have all the victory flags instead of keeping going and going turn after turn after turn. So, casualties matter now more than ever. Try to kill it, please. I, I really could use the extra kills. Thank you. I I'm, I'm really not interested in the infantry. Destroyed. And you can't move. You can't move. Doesn't really matter in the northern side. We have enough infantry troops at the beginning. Yep. Force the enemy to retreat again. It's a full squad of troops. Hmm. Yeah, the situation up here north is uh, at least in question. Where the hell is the re on the rest of their tanks? 50L60. So the armoring isn't that great. And the size of the cannon could be better. But it is a very long barreled weapon and it has high velocity and armor piercing ammunition. So it is a serious, serious threat to our guys. It's an armored car. 
how can you have so much trouble with an armored car? Basically because we have ma we have the CS version Matilda going instead of the Matilda 2s, which would have two ponder guns. Ah, uh, whatever. It's not like I can do much about it now. So it is what it is. Yeah. It's one of the few actual anti-tank tanks we have here. Crusader is not one of them. I can only get two shots out of this. Or are there more tanks coming our way? I don't think this would have been all that difficult for the Germans. This thing about this is the only thing you'd have to do differently to what the computer already did is shoot with the infantry first before you shoot with any of the cannons. Yep, they're destroying all my tanks. Ooh, mobilized. Ooh, So we control everything, but there's too much of a force still left, so it's not gonna end it. Oh my god, these are very good. These are sort of okay, these are very good. So, yeah, he doesn't have a cannon anymore. Well, that's a new thing. Okay, now we're officially in deep shit. The fact that we aren't actually hitting anything. The favors. Yeah, we need the infantry here. Yeah, what are you gonna do? And we have no large gun. This this is worthless. I dislike that I can put a tank in reverse in this game. I don't particularly... yeah, the assault guns in many ways are a lot worse. They have a better gun, for one thing. They have a much more accurate gun. Just shoot at something. Uh, I'm guessing I, I need to hold my own for a couple of turns. Maybe a bit more. But it's not like I can do a huge amount of things at this point. The situation is what it is, and we're just gonna have to live with it. Thank you. 
I'm sending all infantry I can spare up north. Seems like this is where the action is going to happen. Hoping the few extra casualties we can pull with these groups might be the difference between the game actually ending on the intended last turn instead of just keeping going and going and going. Hmm. That does bring up a point. We do have artillery left. Uh, hmm. Yeah, should I fire on them or try to let them come a little bit closer? We might want to fire a smoke too. We have a huge amount of infantry here. They do. Not sure how much it'll hurt or help, but whatever. It'll land by the time the game should, or the mission should end anyway. Okay, could we get to the dying part now? Well, they fired surprisingly little. So, turn 11. Everything they have is thrown up here. They are not in any particular hurry, which is odd to me. Okay, they will move on the flags. Oh, come on, you were retreating. How can you do reaction fires? That's bullshit. They can fire reaction fire against uh, basically an escaping enemy. And understand them. Oh, crap. Fucking hell. Move an inch here and it's an immediate bullet to the brain. Okay, could you put a little small over there? Thanks. Oh, crap. Ooh, we hit something, and we're dead. But it'll mean this one less tank coming our way. It's this is so, sort of uh, where we start to first, I think, acknowledge the fact that it's more about the ammunition than anything else. Surely you have to have a certain size of a gun, but uh, on that front we're at least equal, but we don't have the same specialized ammunition as they have, so almost every hit on their part is a penetrating hit. Okay, every stinking engineer north north north. I 
might try to come through here. Does your mind feel a wire you stopping constantly? I think I'll keep these things fairly in place. There is... Ooh, yeah. Right through. Hard armor. Like it was nothing. They have to make a very concerted assault if they intend to get anything more than a flag or two. They have like, uh, I think, two to three infantry squads and then only tanks. So, for God's sakes, and the two of three infantry squads are slaughtering everything. Panzer IVs are fairly bad compared to us at this point. They don't have the specialized ammunition. They don't have the. They don't really. Uh, they don't have the accurate guns. They don't penetrate with their shots, so they're not getting much done. We can damage, but we can't kill. They don't have the same problem. Actually, they'll... That's surprisingly accurate. It's sort of like Panzer IV, but the gun is much more accurate. I think it might... Yeah, it's the same size. Longer barreled. Might have a higher penetration value too. Because it's longer barrel. Not sure about the stats. Either way, it's a much more dangerous unit.
so let's see what happens. It should be the final turn, but it's not going to be. They have too many troops left for it to be. So this is going to go on for at least a couple of turns to see how much damage they can do. I guess it also depends how aggressively they're going to push through. Since they haven't had any real casualties, I think they're very aggressive. Now we're officially blind. Oh, yeah, our crew is probably the one who benefits the most out of this. Immobilized. I didn't get the flag, did you? Made an attempt for a flag, got flames over. And we're rotted, so we can't do anything either. Well... Crap. Terrible, terrible luck. It's vital that we get uh, a kill somewhere. For two reasons, we wouldn't be fighting here for long if we didn't get some kind of kills here and there. Two, they're not gonna stop until they start to bleed a little bit. I'm just gonna drive over the flags. After all, if there's some kind of some kind of attempt to regain things, they do have to drive those tanks onto these flags. And I'm planning to be there to stop them. Please get them out of the way. Do we have engineers? No. Still, we managed to defend all the important targets, at least for now. This will go on for a couple of turns to most. Because we have caused significant casualties on them, so it's not out of out of question that it might end. Mobilized. So fails. Still they didn't manage to ship. A lot of them are just standing still. I, I guess they don't particularly want to drive blindly into the smoke. There are driving units there though. Yeah. 
it's not so easy now, is it? All the troops. Seems to be obsessed about this location for some reason. Everything's still under our control, so... I'm poor... can I even... Uh, screw it. I'm just gonna be firing at their current uh, positions. See if that does anything. And maybe more smoke. The game should end. For Quicker than those those shots land, but who can tell? Come on, come on! Attack or give up? One or the not one or the other. I'm not moving. And enemy surrenders. firing at the infantry because that's the only thing you can do. And flamethrower crap failed. Still being flamethrower usually does bad things to a morale. And we did use all the shots probably so So what is it what are you gonna do? Seriously. Don't have a lot of choices and yeah, this should be the last turn. Turn fifteen out of forty. So we won. They had a few few attempts to take packs things, but they failed. We destroyed a few additional tanks, thanks for that. So it looks like a decisive victory. They're harassing some soldier. Trying to assault a heavy weapon squad with infantry, yeah, that's not going to work. Yeah, this is just pissing in the wind for them. British 1180, German 122. Marginal victory. It's the uh, catalyst. We lost too many tanks, probably. probably. It's uh, all alternatively couldn't kill enough of their tanks. 
so comparatively it looks bad but it's still a big tree marginal or decisive is all good 